before this video starts, I've got a few announcements to make. So I'm currently working with Amino Apps, so it's an app on the App Store. It's basically like Twitter and a range of different apps where you can post stories, you can post community tabs. So I guess it's like a mix between Reddit and Twitter. So it's really interactive, there's communities there. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could follow me there and make your own accounts and post there because I've been posting some stories over there. And it would really help out if you guys did it. And it's also really fun. I really like doing it. So I made a top 5 list of my favourite comic book films of all time. And a top 5 list of my favourite Flash villains of all time. And later tonight there is going to be my top 5 DCEU films including Shazam which comes out today. So I am really enjoying working with Amino. And if you guys could download the app and actually check out my page follow my page and check my stories it would mean so much to me so thank you guys and let's start this video hey guys Ben here and welcome back to another video on the flash season 5 we've got a whole load of different things to talk about so get ready because the flash returns in not very long from now it's currently I believe it's the 5th of March and we return on the 16th so that is very very soon and we need to get excited for that. So we got some updates, that's what we're going to be talking about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got a new synopsis for episode 19, which is the April 23rd episode. That is mainly to do with Killer Frost and her dad returning, so they're finally continuing that storyline. We got some finale teasers and we've got a new update as to when the next Godspeed trailer is going to be coming. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So first off, let's talk about the finale stuff because that's what you want to hear about really. And so this is going from David Atarixia and I definitely butchered his name. But anyway, so he works on The Flash. I believe he works in sort of the locations department or something like that as far as I know. And he has recently been doing loads of tweets teasing these upcoming episodes like he was teasing episode 21 recently like a few weeks ago when they were shooting it and yeah so we're on episode 18 when we return then we have 19 20 21 and then 22 so we have six episodes left actually quite a long time still like i thought we were a bit further along than this but yeah we got a while we have godspeed's episode next episode i can't wait for that we're going to be talking about that update in just a sec but anyway so his tweet, David's tweet, said this, and he did a few different ones, I'll read them out. So in his tweet, it goes like this, The ending of the finale is so crazy. Sorry I can't give any spoilers, but wow, it is going to leave you thinking. And then he puts a dot dot dot, stay tuned. So this is really intriguing. Obviously, it's just a teaser, it's just a nice little hint for us of, you know, the scale of what it's going to be. But... I think the idea of him saying the ending is so crazy, you know, we tend to get kind of crazy endings to seasons, like with Nora being revealed, that massive cliffhanger, that was a really good ending, really liked that, along with the sort of mystery, why did she actually destroy the satellite at the end of the season, that was a great way to wrap up season 4, I wasn't a big fan of season 4, but that ending and Nora throughout the season were, were definitely strong highlights. And, you know, the end of Season 3 of The Flash, we had Barry going into the Speed Force, so that was quite a big ending, and we've had many other ones prior to that. So, they do have a really good tendency to leave us on cliffhangers, and that is perfect. I love that. So, he's teasing that this ending is going to leave us thinking, so therefore, we can infer it's going to be another cliffhanger, so something ma massive is going to happen, sorry. Last season they were supposed to add a Cicada teaser scene to the end of the episode but they released that Comic Con instead because that got cut because the episode runtime was too long. But what could it be? I think it could be definitely teasing a new villain, it could be teasing more about Godspeed if we continue to see Godspeed which fingers crossed we are because you know it would be a waste if it was just one episode. So is he going to appear in this finale, is he going to be the cliffhanger? leading into season six and he becomes the main villain or something like that i think that would be ideal i think that would be very exciting but when you think of these 
endings, they aren't always that predictable. Although, yes, maybe the Season 3 one was a bit predictable with him going into Speed Force. I had no idea they were going to reveal and do what they did at the end of Season 4, which was kind of mind-blowing to me. So I think if they live up to the hype of, you know, these past ones, I think it's going to be something really great. He's teasing something really great, so that's very, very exciting. And some other tweets that we're going to be reading out goes like this. Wow, what a crazy day of prep on the finale. The director is very strong with his vision and knowledge, and the script is pretty powerful. Let's hope it all works out for Team Flash. Stay tuned. So that's a nice teaser for the vision of the episode, so it seems like the scope and scale of the episode is going to be pretty big. And just prior to that, so this was March 20th, so a few weeks ago actually, he said, I'm sitting in a concept meeting for the finale and I'm blown away with this script. It's going to be epic in so many ways. So yeah, again, really emphasizing the idea that this is going to be massive. And additionally, he sent out this other tweet and then we'll move on to the next part of this video. So he says, well, day one has been good. We are hoping this will be the best finale ever. So they all seem very, very optimistic and I'm very optimistic and it seems like it's going to be amazing and it seems like the cliffhanger is going to be very impactful. All right, so let's move on to the next thing in this video and the next thing is going to be actually from David once again, but this is to do with the Godspeed trailer. So someone asked, and this was recently about a week ago or so, someone asked, when will we see the next Godspeed trailer? So this is what David said, should be out in the next week or so. It's an amazing episode, Danielle did such an incredible job directing. So he seems to confirm, or at least presumably think that there's a new trailer that's, you know, in the pipeline, being created, being edited right now, or it's already, and it's going to be released because I don't think he would say should be out in the next week or so if he wasn't sure about that, so maybe he's seen it already or something like that, but that's a really interesting update, so maybe just be on the lookout, have a look if that Godspeed trailer does come out, and I think they may, just may, show a little glimpse of him prior to when we see this episode on the 16th. So we've got 11 days, so that's not a long time until the episode actually comes. And yeah, we're seeing Godspeed for the first time in live action. I'm so excited. All right, so let's move on to the next bit. And so this is for episode 19. This is the synopsis. And so this episode is called Snow Pack, and it marks the return of Caitlin's father. So this is how the synopsis goes. Icicle returns when Icicle returns to enact the next phase of his devious plan. Caitlin and her mother, Dr. Carla Tenhauser, must resolve their long combative relationship to defeat the icy monster. After Barry makes a big decision about their family without consulting her, Iris decides to take matters into her own hands. Alright, so let's break this down bit by bit. So we have Caitlin's father returning, Icicle. So he appeared quite early on in the season and he was good, he was alright, but I kind of thought that they would just forget about him honestly because they said he was going to return but I thought it's kind of getting a bit too late into the season to make him return because this is 100% at least half the episode, at least all the icicle stuff is going to be nothing to do with Cicada so yeah or nothing to do with whatever's happening towards the end of the season because this is episode 19 we will have like maybe four episodes after this so yeah I feel like this is one of those episodes a bit like the Amunet Black episode that was just a total you know throw it in there why not episode so I don't get the impression that this is 100% to do with the main story but then I say that and we move on to the next bit just after we'll go back and talk about Caitlin's part in the synopsis in a sec but it says, after Barry makes a big decision about their family without consulting her, Iris decides to take matters into her own hands. So I think this is in regards to Nora and what Nora's been doing because we know this is episode 19, episode 18 is going to be obviously next episode and Barry's going to be going to the future in 2049 with Nora. They're going to be trying to sort things out. He obviously has no trust in her, but she's going to be trying to get her father's trust back. 
and to explain why she's been working with the reverse flash and so I feel like what Barry does in terms of his big decision is going to be something to do with Nora and maybe it's him turning Nora away saying go back to the future we don't want you here but more likely than not it's probably going to be him accepting her back in without consulting Iris and I think Iris is still hesitant although she's on the side of saying oh let's give her a second chance or something or let her explain herself right now Barry's not in that state of mind so yeah I'm not sure what's gonna happen but I think it's to do with Nora alright so let's quickly move back and talk about the Caitlyn stuff so Caitlyn and her mother Dr. Carla Tenhauser must resolve the long-lasting combative relationship to defeat the icy monster so Caitlyn's mum returns again She's alright, she's like sort of the same level of Icicle, maybe a bit better than Icicle. And so Caitlyn's going to have this sort of triangle between mother and father because obviously, you know, Icicle has taken over her father. So they're going to presumably try and use the metahuman cure on him so that they can actually turn him back and get rid of the Icicle persona inside of him. So I'm guessing that might work, I'm not sure. But that's what's going to be happening in the episode. So let me know. Are you excited for the finale? Did you like these teasers? Also tell me in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get that Godspeed that David actually teased in those tweets or not? And also are you excited for the return of high school? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.